What's going on everybody? This is Al from PlaybookGamer.com. In the last Dynasty video, we took on then number one Texas and had arguably the greatest game that I probably have ever played in NCAA Football 06. Just absolute craziness in terms of the back and forth. The first quarter, as you look at the box score here, they got a touchdown on us. And then second quarter, we got three straight on them. I was feeling pretty good at that moment. I was like, wow, we may be able to pull away from this team. And then here they come right back in the third quarter with a couple touchdowns of their own. And then in the fourth quarter, it was just a lot of back and forth. And then it finished off with a Hail Mary for us to get the win. And now we are 22nd in the country off of that big win. And today we are taking on Virginia. They're 14th in the country. It looks like they lost their last game, but they got more talent than we do. Now we won both of the two games we played against them in this dynasty. Hopefully we can go 3-0. and You look at their stats. Uh, passing offense looks pretty strong. They looks like they can run the ball halfway decent too. Looks like they got a really good run defense. We will test that out today. They run a pro-style offense and a 3-4 defense. Now, one thing you're going to notice is you see the little icon at the bottom left. That is NCAA 06 Next. This is a texture mod that has been created by a handful of guys recently and what that does is they just went in here and updated a bunch of jerseys uniforms they've changed a couple other different things just very slight uh, but noticeable items for example you go over the rosters and you will notice my impact guy horton he now has a red x little bitty things like that you're going to notice when you play the game and such now i i probably won't do a video on what all this looks like because this is still a work in progress they've had uh, just maybe three conferences that they've worked on in terms of uniforms and such so it'll be another six months or so probably before they can get all the really big schools done in terms of updated uniforms but it's really neat and like i said you're going to see some noticeable differences when you see me play today now let's go over to recruiting but before we do that let's go back to play week we had a bye week i didn't show you anything with this because there was wasn't a whole lot to see but i will show you what little things did change so you go over to recruiting and we got three guys we're going after we got this big tight end kyle young and you notice we have an official visit. I went ahead and done this in the bye week. He was ready to take a visit, and he is going to come for the UConn game, which is the game after this one. You also look at uh, Ben Kendrick, the wide receiver. Uh, not this one. How about this kid right here? It's Dustin McCoy. He's got us at number one on his list. He's down to his top five. We just don't know what he likes yet. And then we got Corey Clemens, a tackle. He has decided to take an official visit. We have him scheduled for the UConn game as well. As many of you know, I like to get these uh, visits over as quick as possible because you may get commitments and you can use those points on somebody else. So that's the only thing you really miss in terms of the bye week. Now, another thing in terms of the bye week, you go to Sports Illustrated and you go to Archive Covers. I don't want you to miss this. You go to week four, which was the bye week, and look who made the cover. Justin Gates, our quarterback. So I thought that was pretty cool to see. Now, let's go over to top 25 polls. Again, we are in the top 25 now. In terms of the coaches poll, are we 22nd? Yes, and in terms of the media poll, I'm sure they have us up here somewhere. But yes, they got us 21st in the country. Now, I can go ahead and show you Heisman watch stuff. I think this is actually going to start uh, affecting us some. Okay, here's a really good example. We don't have anybody on here from our team, but you notice the Ohio State uh, player. He's got a little bit different uniform. It looks pretty cool. They've updated a little bit. You see the, the Nike check and the Big Ten updated logo on the right uh, side of his chest. Really cool stuff. But again, this is not what this video is about, but I just wanted to point that out to you. Um, but I just wanted to show you Heisman Watch. I'm going to start showing you this some more. The SEC, they've worked on some uh, uniforms there. As you can see, it's a little bit more bold in a couple of spots like the, the blue and such. Players of the week, I don't really care. Let's go to conference standings. Oh, this is another good example. You see here, Tennessee, you notice how it's just a little bit different. A different, little stronger of an orange. They changed the font a little bit. Again, all really cool. Okay, let's go and check out our team info screen. Now, we are in the Coastal. We haven't played a conference game yet, which we're going to play our first one today. And Gates, Horton, and Wright, I think that's going to stay pretty consistent throughout the remainder of the season. We'll see how that goes. Uh, defensive leaders, Thornton, Nichols, and Allen. Hopefully a lot of that stuff will go up in time. 
our defense has played really well these first couple of games, but they've really shared the wealth. Like our leading tackler only has nine tackles through two games. You know, but I wish we need uh, we would get better sacks, more of them, I should say. We only have uh, probably a couple of guys that just have one each, and the same with the interceptions. But that should go up over time. Now let's check out Virginia. They are in our division. So it is a very big game for us. They got a middle linebacker out today. It looks like they got beat by Miami. But it looks like they got a quarterback that's playing really well. Uh, a running back with 82 yards a, a game receiving. Looks like they got a guy who's doing okay. And they got just some random defensive players that do, are doing their thing. Okay, that's all I really wanted to show you up to this point. Let's go ahead and let's see if we need to discipline anybody. Normally, I don't show you this part of it, but I just wanted to show you the NCAA uh, texture mod thing. This is another little simple thing they've done. They switched up the controllers. Now they put in a PS5 controller, which I think is pretty cool. Looks like we don't have anybody in trouble. I want to make sure my default away uniform is set up. Now, they haven't done the ACC uniforms yet. They will in time, but once they do, I can start using those in this dynasty, but I just don't know what that's going to be. All right, let's get into the game. The play we want to focus on today is Nickel Crash 2. Now, this is a cover 2 zone blitzing play with cover 2 zone meaning, in this case, the free safety and the strong safety are splitting the back end of the coverage with the nickel back, which is your third cornerback on your depth chart, coming in the blitz off the weak side. Now, this particular play, the offense decided to flip a slot and run play action off of it. But in any case, in my particular situation, I got a really fast nickel back. That's why I like to blitz with him if possible. And I like to shift my linebackers over to the strong side. As you can see, I got the middle linebacker right across uh, the halfback. And then I got my outside linebacker over the tight end. And if, they're, if your nickel back knows what he's doing and he doesn't get caught up on the play action, he can come over here and get a sack, especially if he doesn't get caught up by the right tackle. Anyway, it's a very good blitz as long as the nickelback can do his job and he can have a clean lane to go through to get the sack. And guess what? We have a rain game in the ACC. This is actually our first one. I know this is just our third game of the season, but just in terms of rain games in general, hopefully the rain doesn't affect us too much today. Top 25 matchup should be a good one. Need to get a win today. This is going to be tough. Going up against a 3-4 defense, I'll try to do more dives and such. Who are they going to highlight? Halfback seems to be doing okay so far this year. We'll see if he's an impact player. And speaking of the uh, the texture mod, I'm going to leave a link in the description for every one of these videos so everybody can click on that and look up whatever they need to. Okay, they have picked us to win. Let's go to the coin toss. They have won it, and they will receive it. The win isn't doing anything, so it doesn't matter which direction I go with. Let's check out their roster. Starting quarterback, at least he can't run the ball. You know, he can't run. He's a pocket passer. Now his backup can Pray that this kid stays healthy today because I don't want to go up against this kid. Halfback, 87, 85, and 80. At least he's not an impact guy from what I can tell. Uh, fullbacks, not bad. You look at their wide receiver. Here's an impact guy. You see the red X on the left. Uh, decent little receiving core. You look at their tight ends. They have always had some strong tight ends at Virginia. Looks like they got a couple that can do some damage. Both of them are seniors, by the way. You look at their offensive line, you got 84, 84, 90, 91, and 78. This kid is absolutely humongous, true sophomore, but we got a big old defensive end that can go up against him. Like I said, they run a 3-4 defense. They have arguably the most talented defensive end in the country, 99 overall, 6'6", 270 pounds. You look at the other defensive end, 92 overall. Then he got not a whole lot up the middle. So what I may end up doing, and this makes no sense, but it's the guy's 6'5", 269 pounds. In a 3-4 defense, you need somebody that's about 369 pounds. Either way, we're going to try to do a lot more dives today than just outside stuff. We'll see how that goes. Outside linebacker, 88, and he got their top middle linebackers out. But this kid right here, he's suspended for two quarters. Their impact linebacker. 
which is interesting. Sent him, okay, but they got a 95 overall right outside linebacker. So they got some pretty good talent there. Corner, 85 or 86, 85, and then 76. Not bad. Uh, look at the free safety, 88 overall, 86 overall, and strong safety. So their safeties are pretty good. An awful kicker, a, not a bad punter, and that is all I need to say. So let's go ahead and get this show on the road. That's the one thing you can't tell there's an impact guy back there as easily as you could with the uh, other impact logo or the icon, the white glowing orb. Good stop there. I am going to go quarters. I think they are going to go do a lot of passing today. We'll see if that happens. I hope they do. He's the most dangerous weapon yep, they're going to pass it. Really no one on the other going to a tight end, just picks up, what, four maybe? Oh, picks up six. I am going to go with the zone blitz. We got a quarterback that we can do this against. And I don't fear their run game just yet. Maybe our corner can get over there to him. Ooh, almost picked off. Oh, that was close. So it is what third and four. This quarterback had too much faith. We will go cloud. Well, that confidence almost led to a change of possession. His man wasn't even. I've got the middle of the field. We're gonna do something like this. Five receivers lined up here. Everybody make good decisions. I would love to get a stop here. back to throw. Over the middle, sack by you know who, the true freshman, Nichols. A big play right there, so they are on the 21. We're going to go with a double cross to return. Let's see if Drummer can do something here. Just don't fumble it. Okay, we are kind of in the middle of the field. I need to make some adjustments. We need to do our tight ends here. I want to put a drummer there. And that's probably all I'll do for now. What I want to do out of the gate is let's just try to run up the gut with our best player. As expected, they're going 3-4. And they're doing that. I'm going to leave it as is just because that linebacker is sitting like that. Ah, good play by the de defensive tackle. Huge hole until it wasn't there. <laughs> but you saw him, the gaping hole right there. I could have done some damage, but good play by the big guy up the middle. Now it's second and ten. We're in the middle of the field. Let's go ahead and try a deep cross up. They're going zone. I'm not worried about the clocks. We can go ahead and snap this thing. Ah, that was tough. You go back and look at this, high snap kind of messed up the rhythm. And by the time I got here, that quarterback done a good job staying back there. And it wasn't a good throw. He should have kind of threw it like about right here, maybe. I'm going to run these. Let's run the same play. Let's see what happens. I just have a, this is my go-to middle of the field play in this playbook. So we're going to go with it. Okay, we may have a better chance here. Good catch by Buttles. Not a very good throw by Gates, but it's good enough. I am going to run a dive out of tight. I still want to see if I can attack. Well, now they're going zone dive, so it doesn't really make a difference. Let's go to the right. Ooh, nothing there. Nothing there. It's good defense. I'm going to stay in this formation, though. We can go. Let's try a toss if they stay in dime. They're going nickel. They're doing that. Ooh. Let's go over here. Fumble. Shoo, we got lucky. <laughs> Great play by the linebacker, I guess, or is that a defensive end? So guess what? We're in the middle of the field. I am going to go back to cross up. Might as well. We're going man this time. I'm going to leave it as is. Let's see what they go with. Cover two. And it got tipped. So where are we? We're on the 33. I'm going to go for this. 
We'll go tight end cross. And they're going man. I, I don't know. Okay, we'll go ahead and snap it. We're going cover one. Intercepting. Just a bad throw. Good defensive play. Did he get in front of it? I take it. And go over here. The, the dig got in the way, basically. Actually, it wasn't that terrible of a throw, but just the dig got in the way. Okay. So they're going to get the ball back. We're going to go back to quarters. I'm not overly upset over that. Let's see if we can get another stop. Sack. Almost a sack. Oh, get him, get him. There we go. How in the world they got away with that play, I don't know. But at least they lost some yardage. I'm going to stay in quarters again. We'll do an over front. Going with the basic toss. And look at this. They're going to get a first down. I guess toss can sometimes work against quarters. Let's go cover two, man. I won't have the same luck if... They shipped on their defensive front. If they, if I would have went with a toss on that one, intercept it. Mm. That quarterback's throwing quick. He's feeling antsy out there. Let's try. Oh, we can stay in four three. I'll do a zone blitz. Do something like this, perhaps. Intercept that. Great defense. Great defense by the safety. So it is what? Third and ten. We gotta get another stop here so we can get the ball back and try to do something on offense. Do something like this, perhaps. Maybe Nichols can get to him again. All day to throw. Make another play. Or not. He had all day to throw. No pressure. No pressure whatsoever, so we'll go back to quarters. Any quarterback can make plays out there if he's got enough room to do so. Let's do a, a tight look with the defensive line. Intercept that. Or not. Well, so much for that. So it is six to nothing. Again, you noticed the little texture mod logo on the left. Pretty cool. This will get better over time. Like I said, they're going to add more stuff to it. It's just just take some time to update things. It's not fully done. I'm sure they like to do uniforms on every team in the game. So we'll see if we can get our touchdown back. We need to score some points. Right down the middle of the field. I'll, I'll just let that one go. That's not going to go anywhere. Let's try. Slam. With Horton. Uh, I guess we'll go left. Or right, I should say. Wow, good defense. Just nobody picked him up. I'm going to go back to Horton. We can go direct. And they're blitzing both inside guys. That's great. Do I have a... I wonder, I may actually stick with this. Do something like this. I didn't get a whole lot out of it. Let's go with... Tight end delay. Please go man. At least we're going man. We may be able to get a first down. And they're double teaming. They're doing a lot of different things here. Just go over here. And what in the world? Oh, wow. Our passing game all of a sudden decided not to play. Just It is what it is. All right. Let's get back on defense. Just a terrible throw by Gates. This will probably go. That's not a bad punt, but he's got time to do something with it. At least he's hugging the sideline. So our offense needs to come up with something. Our quarterback needs to play a little bit better. We'll figure it out. Step 
I stayed in quarters. He's got all day. He had all day to throw. I'm going to try another zone blitz. As you can tell, they seem to want to throw more than run. Get a little help on the left side. Play action. Get him, get him, get him. Oh, my gosh. They're just making more plays than we are at the moment. Off of play action. A delayed route, no less. Wow. Nothing you can do about it. Let's go. I'm going to do another zone blitz this time with a corner. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Nice. Fumble, somebody get it, get it. Great play. Good sack. Good to see that work. So it's second and 15. You can go back and look at this. I blitzed with that nickel. Came around through and nobody picked him up. It helps that they went play action. And we're able to get the sack. Just a great play. Strip sack, no less. It would be nice if we would have got the, the ball, but that's okay. I'll do something like this. And I messed this up. Oh, my gosh. Somebody pick it up. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, at least it's third and long. If we can get a stop here, that'd be great. Now, they're on the 39. We kind of need a sack. Otherwise, they may go for it on fourth. There we go. Guess who got the sack? True freshman, Nichols. But look where they're at. They're, oh, they're going to punt it on the 42. Uh, let's go all out block. Let's take a chance. I don't think they're going to fake it. Somebody get it. Nope. Nobody got it. Everybody get out of the way. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. At the two-yard line? At the 20. Thank you. That's what it should have been. Okay. Deep cross up. We're in the middle of the field. We need to try it again. We've been able to make it work once, and it's failed a couple other times. Terrible. Oh, good throw. Good throw. Good job, Gates. Good to see you pick that thing up. All right. Let's see. We need to get. I have. I know what we're gonna do next play. We're gonna go fullback over with Drummer. We're going three four zone. So this may not work at all. Good play. Pick up eight. Pick up seven. I guess. I'm gonna go back to this play to slam. I want to see if we can pick up the first with. Horton. They shifted that way. Wow, just perfect defense. Nobody picked him up for whatever reason. So it's third and three. I'm going to go back to direct. And they're, I swear, they know exactly what we're calling. <laughs> they went back to this again. I got to call a timeout. That's not going to work. I'm going to call it again, though. Maybe we can get lucky. They call something different. Nope, they called the exact same play. Why not? Well, let's see if we can work around it. Let's do something like this. Wow. What, what in the world? You got to be kidding. I just... I just... What do you do? So everything that could go wrong is going wrong at the moment. I don't know why, but we got to get over it. Even the so-called cheese plays aren't working at the, right now. I know some people don't like halfback direct, but I really don't care. I mean, it, it, it affects, it does well with my offense. I'm going to use it when I can. So we try to do something on offense again. Nothing's working. I don't know what to do about it other than keep playing. Let's see if a drummer can do something here. Get a block there. Good run by drummer. We got to get some points off this drive. We're on the left hash. Let's go P. Reed. Zone 3-4. I'll probably keep this simple and just go to Drummer. Just what is going on, Gates? It's not that hard of a throw. Um, I 
Uh, let's do a toss, I guess. I'm now just grabbing at straws at the moment because nothing's really working. And they're doing that. That ain't going to work. I'm going to still I'll stick with it. Wow, look at this. Perfect defense every play. Nice. So it's third and forever. I, um, we could try a flanker special. At least we're going zone. This may be a tough play here. Terrible throw. Interception. Wow, just awful. Just poor Gates. Do I just need to... I don't know. I don't know what to do. You know, I mean, with three turnovers. You know, you can't win ball games if you keep throwing interceptions. Let's go zone blitz. And they'll look to capitalize on a good field position here. Linebackers just move over. Terrible football. Somebody needs to make a play besides good job, Marshall. Get another sack. And they snuffed out the quarterback draw there. We'll go quarters. Absolutely nowhere for the quarterback I don't know what to do offensively. We keep turning the ball over. We can't run the ball. They're stuffing every run. And he's wide open over there. First down. We're going to get just destroyed today, aren't we? I hate games like this where absolutely nothing goes right all of a sudden. It's like the game just, I, I hate to say it, it's like the game just t decides, nope, you're not going to do anything well on this play. Thank the Lord he made a bad throw. I'm going to go back to another zone blitz. That's the only defensive play working at the moment. Maybe they'll go play action again. Get him, get him, get him. Oh, he got picked up. Now he's got all day to throw. <sighs> Thankfully, that didn't go well. So it is third and long. Again, we'll go cloud. Now, they're in a position to kick a field goal if they want to. They don't have a, a good kicker, though. Wide open. Just, I, I don't know what to do. <laughs> Just, nothing's going right. I'll go back to a zone blitz before they score on us again. So, you're going to have one of those games where... Everything goes right. It just goes wrong for you. It goes right for the other team. This must be ours for the season. Unless something crazy changes. We need something to change very quickly. I hope we can overcome it. It's going to be hard. Touchdown. Well... Oh, well, you deal with it. If I had a solution on offense, I would do that, but we keep turning the ball over or my quarterback makes bad throws or it just just doesn't matter what we do. <laughs> Easy touchdown. And just like that, throw up three scores. But this is one of the reasons why I play 06. You get a better challenge out of the... The opposing team compared to other games like 07 where it was a struggle for most CPU teams to get 100 yards on me. Definitely not have any problems today, but I guess we're halfway contributing to that when you turn the ball over every drive. I just want to score. Now my goal for the rest of the game is to score a point. Something, anything. Can we do that? We're going to find out. Let's see if Drummer can do something here. Nope. Can we try a QB choice, like an off-tackle run with Horton? Will this work? We're going zone nickel. Go over here. Look at this defense. Just incredible. We're lucky to get the three yards we did. I'm going to stay here. I'm going to go back to direct. It hasn't worked once today. Zone nickel. We can leave it as is. There we go. Finally got something going a little bit. We got. Can we score a touchdown here? Wouldn't that be amazing? Okay, we're going to go to... 
here. We're going to go halfback angle. We're going man. I'm going to hurry this up. Might as well since we're down so much. Cover one. Good throw. Myrick, second and one. The quarterback just rifled that one in there for a good game. Well, he's throwing the football with some pop, isn't he, Coach? P. Reed. He's not careful. He's gonna We're going man dime. I actually may run this one. one up here. Ball on the 45. They're double teaming the Z receiver. We can get out of bounds. That was a pretty good run. First and ten on the 35. We're gonna stay here. We're gonna call halfback angle. We're going zone. I don't know if we'll get much out of this one. Ooh, nice little play there. Pick up a first. Wasn't expecting that. Normally, you don't see this receiver. You don't see the corner do what he done right there. But it ended up being a bad throw. It, I mean, it was a good throw. But normally, you don't see the receiver run up the field like he done right there. We'll take it. Uh, first and ten. I'm going to try... We got all three timeouts. I think what I want to do, I want to run some clock now going forward because they're going to get the ball back. Can we get up field? Face mask. Thank you. Oh, they didn't call it. So we're on the nine-yard line. Let's go. I'm going to go blast with Horton. And they're going 3-4. And it looks like it's zone. So we're going to run a bunch of clock. And they're crunching up. That doesn't help. Just don't fumble it. Just don't turn the ball over. Let's just see if we can just sneak in to the end zone before half. We do get the ball to start of the second half. We have to score a touchdown on that drive. Perfect defense there. Uh, we can... Oh, gosh. I, I can try toss again, but I probably... I need to go ahead and snap this, don't I? Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Good deal. Get in the end zone. All right, at least we scored. We may not win today, but at least we scored a touchdown. If we can survive the next 34 seconds, that would be great. I don't know what they're going to try to do on offense. They may just try to run out the clock. On the extra point. So, at least we've done something positive today. That, this may be the only one we do, but at least we've done something right. So, we're going to kick this back off. Pretty good kick, but he's going to return it. Simpson fields it at the three. He jukes. First and ten. I don't know. Uh... Let's go man cover two. I think they're just going to run the ball. 31 seconds. They may try to pass it. We'll see. Going to play action. Easy stop there, but they got out of bounds. They didn't have to call a timeout, so they're going to throw. Because of that, we'll just go quarters and try to keep everything in front of us. Until they get close to midfield, and then they'll probably go for a Hail Mary. They went option, of all things. Good job, Al. Now, I think they still got out of bounds. Nope, they didn't, technically. So, they got to call a timeout. Third and two. They're going with a big set. We'll just go 4-3, cover two. They may try to run it, or the, I don't know. They may go play action. Want to pass it. And he caught that somehow. Okay. And they call another timeout. They got one left. I'm going to take a chance on a zone blitz. I'm, I'm trying to get them out of Hail Mary territory. I want him to throw quick on this one. So let's see if that happens. Please don't go over the top. <laughs> Please don't. Get him, get him, get him. Nice. And the reason why I am doing zone blitzes from my nickel is because my cornerback, my nickel back technically is, he has 94 speed. That's the biggest reason. I'm going to do something like this. Don't do anything goofy. Yeah, just, we're going to let the clock go. All right, end of the first half. 
I mean, it's awful, but we're down two scores, and we got a little bit of momentum. So let's go and check out some stats. We have, they are just playing a whole lot better than we are. Thankfully, they're not running the ball a whole lot. If they ran the ball a lot today, we would be getting killed. But we're getting some sacks. That's what's keeping us in a little bit on offense, or on defense, I should say. Our third down play is awful. Theirs is really good. Turnovers. This is the biggest reason why we're down two scores. Hopefully, we can get over that. Individual stats. Four for ten for Gates. He's not having a good game at all. <laughs> I'm trying to work around it as best I can. Uh, running the ball, Horton and Drummer. I mean, kudos to Virginia. They are stopping our run game. And if you remember at the beginning of the video, it looked like they had a top 10 rushing defense. Well, it's looking like that today. Receiving, just nothing is going on here. You look at defense, Marshall is leading in tackles. Of course, he's leading in tackles for loss. He's leading in sacks. And we still don't have any interceptions from anybody. All right, let's get back into the third quarter. Before we head back into the video, I just wanted to point out a few things that I have in my store. Starting off with the memory cards for the PlayStation 2 that has over 20 named roster files for all of the NCAA football games from 02 up to 11. And then, of course, I have all of my books that I have written over the years from my latest one, the West Coast Offense, the Out Raid Offense, and you got the Big Book of Tight Ends, the Power Shoot. Then you got the I Option, P.A. Reed. Pro Dog, Run and Shoot, and so much more. So I will have a link in the top right and in the description below. Virginia will be kicking off. We got to get a touchdown here. Kicks it off. Ooh, we'll just let that one go. I'm okay with that. We can try another middle of the field again. We're going zone at least. Maybe we can get a good play here to Buttles. Not feeling a whole lot of heat. Good throw. Good, good job, everybody. Everybody gets a pat on the back for that one. That's how it's supposed to be executed. We are on the right hash. I want to stay here. We're going to do an off tackle with Drummer. I'm going to go to the short side of the field this time. They're going zone or man nickel. And they're doing that. Yay. Yep. Oh, no, we'll go this way. Hey, good defense. They shifted in the right spot. I'm going to go back to him, though. I'm going to do a toss with Drummer. Zone dime. And, of course, they're spreading out, I swear. Ooh, just get the first little guy. <laughs> just enough. Okay, so it's first and ten. I'm going to go with a pass play. We're going to go with our tight end play. Tight end drags. We, this is a good spot to do this. They're going man. This will either go to right over the top or to Parker. Looks like it's going to go to Parker because that dude is getting double teamed. And I can't tell if he dropped it. He's played just awful as a freshman so far. I just It's a good throw. He just burnt. I don't know what to do with him. He's just not playing well. Uh, second and ten. Uh, I'm going to go back to a pass. Let's go back to halfback angle. They're going man. They're at least bringing one dude. So we're going to go to somebody on the left. He's coming down. Cover one. Good throw to Myrick. That's close to a first down. Third and two. I'm going to try a basic slam before we have to do something else. They're going zone and 3-4. Can we get a first down here? Nope. Yes, just enough. And he's hurt. I swear. <laughs> oh, it's just one of them games. Blessed player goes down. Where are we? Are we on the right hash? We're on the right hash. Uh, I want to go... Tight end post. And since we're in the they're going red, zone, and I, I think we got our third stringer in here now, Brooks. We're just going to wait and see how bad Horton is hurt before we do anything different there. And, of course, he drops it. So I guess we're going to have to go through Drummer for some things. I just, he's coming back. Whew, good. Horton is coming back. They're doing that. Ooh. 
we can try going to the left. Had to adjust on that one. Let's see if we can get the first. We didn't get it. Dang it, we didn't get it, did we? Third and one. Let's try a tight end delay. They're going man at least. I like the shift. I'm going to bring this dude over. Ooh, not a big fan of this. Get the first. <laughs> Just enough. <sighs> okay, so where are we? We are on the seven. I want to go. I'm going to go with ball. We're going to do a fullback blast. Hopefully they go 3-4, and they're going to. I'm going to see if we can just sneak through here before we get Horton back in there. He may not come back to the next drive. Just not a whole lot there. Thankfully, he didn't fumble it. Okay. I got... I mean, this kid is still in. I mean, we can try direct. I don't want this kid still in here. But we're going to go to Brooks on this one. Yeah, run, 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 run. <laughs> Jeez. I should have got tackled right there, but he decided not to go for the feet. And just like that, we're back in it. I mean, like I said, we still may end up getting beat because Virginia is still playing very well. But at least I can feel better about the game knowing that we at least accomplished a few things on offense. I was starting to worry that it was just going to be one of those games where nothing was going to go right. It ended up being a really good drive. It took, you know, some time off the clock, even though we didn't try to do that. We scored a touchdown. That was the goal, and we accomplished it. All right, let's get back on defense. This one's going in the corner or maybe out of bounds. He's going to return it. We need to get a stop here. Okay, not bad. We're going to keep running some zone. I'm going to go with an over front. Going with the toss. That's what it's supposed to look like. <laughs> Not what we saw from earlier when they got a big game. Second and 13. I am... I'm going to stay in quarters. I, normally I would blitz here. But I think we can still keep them in a third and a long situation. Going with the run. So it's what, third and seven? Third and six. We're going to go back to Cloud. If we can get a stop here, then we can really change the game. I've got the middle of the field, hopefully. A lot of guys going over the middle. Dang it. I guess I should have got there closer or sooner. And just like that, they're marching down the field. Biggest problem there, no pressure. Our front four just didn't do their job. Do something like this. Play action. Get him, get him. Oh, I, I don't know why. Oh, this ain't good. This ain't good. I just, that's, that's my fault, I guess. But a big, again, he had all day to throw. Uh, so we got to get back on offense and try to get the touchdown back. I wasn't going to try to go for the interception there. I probably would have failed as well. Unfortunately, you go... Oh, we can't go back and look. Unfortunately, Marshall didn't do a good job there. He bent on the play action. He didn't go for the quarterback. I don't know if that's an awareness thing. So let's see if we can get the six points back. Not bad by Butler. I'm going to go. Haven't called this play today. We're going to go. Wide receiver clear outs. They're going man. Looks like we got a decent. We're going to go to either right or Myrick. They're not doing any cover zero today. None whatsoever. I think I've maybe seen it once. Second and one. Good play there. We're going to stay here. We'll go P. Reed. Zone nickel. Poor Gates, for whatever reason, he's looking like Jared Garitano and he can't hit these little throws. And a sack. Shoo! Just... 
Third and nine. Just a bad job by the right tackle. We're going zone here. I'm kind of thankful they are. He can't hear that. Hurry up, get back to the line. Cover two. Back. Nobody, just, I don't know what happened. Somebody came through, had no chance. So that may have done the game for us. That may have done a sin right there. That big swing right there, that touchdown and us getting sacked two straight times, that may have killed it. Maybe we can overcome it. I agree, coach. And the thing is, this quarterback can make some plays for you if you give him enough time back there. To Should be a fair catch. We need a turnover. We need something to go right. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out. We'll go quarters at a nickel. It's first and ten. We need our front four to do something. Our nickel back does not need to be our leading sack leader. We need nickels to do something, but oh my gosh, six points. That's and they make the stop. Well, it was fun while we tried. And a great catch too. Did you, see you can just kind of sense that they're going to just blow us out the water here. The First and ten. We'll go zone blitz. But this is a good thing. It, it extends the dynasty more. You know, if I would have won a championship this year, it would have been, been a little quicker dynasty than usual. Counter. Somebody stop it. Good play there. Up a yard of anything on that run. Five wide. We'll go back to quarters. They'll probably go over the middle again. That's the chance you take when you go quarters. All right, end of the third quarter, as bad as you could expect. It did not go the way we wanted it to. Technically, we got a touchdown, and they did too, but it just it didn't go well. Let's try cover two, man. We're rolling down two scores. Anything is possible. I get that. I'm not giving up, but... I mean, Virginia's just playing very good football right now. We need them to do something stupid. And it's not working. Nothing, I mean, they're just playing good football. We could try another zone blitz. We can flip that, maybe get our corner over there. And see, it, that's just the way the game has been today. We decide to play great against the best team in the country one game and decide not to show up the next. It just that's football for you. So we'll get over, we'll move on. Hopefully that doesn't affect our recruiting. I don't think it will. And just like that, he mows over him, get a first down. <laughs> Why not? So we got a pass going forward, but I mean, I, I think we all can agree this game is over with. Unless they fumble, we take it back right here. That'd be cool. Or how about they just score a touchdown instead? Oh, you got to love it. One game you play good, the next game, nothing just goes right. It stinks. I, I rather this was flipped. <laughs> This is more important game than Texas. This is a divisional game. We got to get better players, I guess. I don't know what else to do. I don't know how you overcome a game like this, though, where just, you know, everything kind of goes against you. I don't know if talent can overcome that. Not bad by Bowler. We can go back to some passing, I guess. Let's go. We can go back to Angle. We're going man. We'll go to somebody on the left again. Cover one. Wow, our defensive, our offensive line is getting roached today. You look at this. Look at this left guard. We're center. Both of them got beat. I was going to stop right there, but then I couldn't. If I would have stopped right there, we got sacked. So I had to keep backing up. Nice decision by the quarterback. Not only was it good decision making, we'll go here. We'll go halfback angle. Zone. This isn't going to go far. I'm going to go ahead and tell you that right now. And I mean, our, that defensive line is just destroying us right now. I, I don't know what to do about it. <laughs> I mean, whatever they are doing, I mean, can do right, they are. Fade delay. This is one of our biggest problems. Our offensive line isn't very good. 
but we can only get better players. That's the only way to fix that. Cover one. Good throw to right. Pick up the first. On the left hash. We can go tight end delay. We're going man three, four. There we go. Do something like this. Cover zero. Terrible throw. Gosh, what was that? That was the worst deep ball throw I've ever seen. Look how awful this was. He's supposed to have like one of the strongest arms in the country. And he just lane ducks it. I mean, he threw it way before he got hit. Look at that. The ball's out and he's not even hit. Yet for some reason, he just short, -arm, short arms it. I mean, this is the worst game he's ever had here. And I know this is only his second year, but... Man, that was so bad. I mean, that just sums up the day. It really does. That's the perfect example of just how it's going today. Man, I've never seen that before. I mean, he's short-armed to 15 yards. So we'll get through this next three minutes of 40 seconds. I'll, I'll run clock when I get the ball back because the game is over with. Because I, I want to get out of here really quick. Ow, 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 ow. I just brought down. How about the job of this offensive line, guys? Boy, the hog molly's up. Like I said, I'll, I'll hurry this up as best I can. It's tough when you're tired. You're that play like that didn't help. Physically, I don't know how long they can keep this up. Virginia goes with the ace set here. At least they're running clock. Thank you, Virginia. Show mercy on us. Because we just keep hurting ourselves. Wide open over here. Nine straight completions. Perfect football by Virginia. Give it up to them. They just played great and we didn't. You go from one of the best games ever to one of the worst games ever back to back. We could try a zone blitz. Maybe they'll throw or they'll score quickly. We can get the ball back and try to run clock. When your quarterback plays awful, you have no chance. When you turn the ball over, have a couple fumbles, you have no chance. And everything just kind of happened today. At least, hopefully it all comes in one game instead of spread throughout the rest of the season. Because we're going to get, I mean, we can't play like this and have a good season. I mean, what did we go last year, 10 of 3? We can't have any more games like this one. Pull back dive. And look at this. <laughs> Easy first down. We'll just stay in the 4 3. It's just they're going to run the rest of the way. That, that deep ball still bothers me. I, I've never seen it so short before. And he's got like a 96 throw power. And he, barely, he can barely get a 15 yards down the field. Is he rattled? I'm going to go back and look at that. Let's go in in-game strategy. He's got a plus four. His awareness is plus nine, yet he is playing so bad. Oh, whatever. Counter. Thank you for still running clock so we can get out of here. And we can move on to the next game. Next game is very important. We got UConn. We got two. Visitors, at least two. We may end up having three. We will find that out in the next video, in the next Dynasty video. Another fullback dive. Continue running that clock if you can. Third and four. Marshall is your MVP on our team. He's the only one that's done anything today. Offensively, nobody done anything. I thought we kind of had a chance at halftime, but that did not happen. Third quarter hit, and it was all she wrote. Toss. And they should take a knee going forward. 
Oh, yeah, we're definitely overrated. I mean, this game made us look pathetic. Please don't score on this one. Don't make it look worse than it already is. But hopefully we'll come back next game and hopefully play better. Man, we better. <laughs> if not, then it's it's not going to be good. All right, that should be the last play of the game. Thank the Lord. It's second down and eight. This is the ninth play of this drive. The Cavaliers go with the I formation. Oh, okay. So we got beat 35 to 14. I'm sorry. Our team can play amazing one game, but then one another game they decide not to show up. I'll take blame for some of it. But I ain't gonna take blame for all of it. All right, let's check out some stats. It's not gonna be pretty. There's nothing to look at. If they would hurry up and stop talking, let's go to stats and scores. So again, we couldn't do anything offensively. Our passing game was so bad. Our run game is bad. Nothing went well on offense. Our third down was terrible. Theirs was perfect, now, honestly. You go 77% on third down, you're having a good game. Four turnovers to none. I just, you know, what do you do? Just a lot of was goofy fumbles and bad throws. Uh, the rest of that stuff doesn't matter. You go to individual stance. Justin Gates, you need to play better. I'm sorry, you just didn't play well today. Running the ball. Drummer, done okay. Horton. Had an awful game. His worst game of his career. 3.4 yard average. Just didn't do well. He had a terrible fumble. Changed the game. Once he fumbled that ball, the rest of the game is over with. Receiving. Our true freshman, Myrick, ended up doing better than the rest of. I know Buttles had some good yards. That's only because of the deep cross-up that worked a few times. Blocking. Uh, defense. Allen led in tackles. When you're... I led in tackles. That's another problem. When your free safety leads in tackles, you're not going to have a good game. Tackles for loss. Marshall still won that. Sacks by Marshall and Nichols. And then interceptions, none as usual. All right, let's get out of here. We can check out some scores from the top 25 this week. Of course, we just played awful against Virginia. UCLA over Arizona. Maryland over Wake Forest. Illinois over Michigan State. Then you have Colorado upsetting Florida State. Auburn over Ole Miss. Oregon State over Washington State. Tennessee got beat by Florida. Just a bad day for me. <laughs> uh, then we got uh, Miami over Minnesota. LSU over South Carolina. Washington over Stanford. USC over Oregon. Then you have Wisconsin over Michigan in a high-scoring game. And last but not least, you got NC State over North Carolina. All right. In the next Dicey video, we got UConn. Even matchup roster-wise, uh, just looking at their stats, they are decent at pretty much everything. They're bad at the pass defense. Who knows what's going to happen? If we don't show up, and it doesn't make a difference. we got to play a whole lot better than what we did today. All right, guys. I'll talk to you later.